What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. I've got 10 tips for you for Grounded that'll hopefully make your experience in Grounded a little bit easier. Let's get into it. So, tip number one. See this drip right here? Little do? Oh, I can't reach it. You can do one of two things. You could punch the stem and it will fall. Or, my personal favorite, you can just shoot it with the bow. Grab it on the way down. That works a lot better, especially for the ones that are over top of the water. Um, you know, because normally you'll knock the water ones down and they will fall right in the water and disappear forever. You can actually catch them if you use your bow. All right, tip number two, hot deposits. If you don't know about this, there's two different ways that you can go about uh, hot depositing here. Uh, you could walk up to the chest for PC. I'm not sure what it is for console, but for PC, uh, you look at the chest that has an item in it that you also have in your inventory. Hold down E, and it will deposit whatever item that is into the into the chest. Now, if you're standing close enough, we've got chests around here, around here on the both sides. If you're standing close enough, it doesn't say a hotkey down below, but you can press N, and it will automatically deposit everything from your inventory into individual chests. Huge tip right here. The next tip I have for you is about smoothies. So all of the smoothie recipes, all of them stack. So you could literally go into a boss fight, consume every one of these things, and you will get every effect from all of them at the same time stacked on top of each other. Check this out. Look at all this. There are only two minute, two minute effects, but when you're fighting a boss, this is huge. Another big tip. Let's get it. The next tip I have for you is about the smithing station and upgrading your gear. Now, I didn't know this right off the bat because it's a little bit hidden, but when you're leveling up your gear, you get to level three, four, five. As soon as you get to five here, you have some options that pop up uh, beside whatever armor piece it is. And you can see we get 35. If we upgrade right now, we go to 35 defense, 35 durability. If we click this, we get 30 defense, 30 durability, but you also unlock the, uh, we'll call it a secret enchant on the armor. So this increases our thirst rate with the antlion armor, and every armor set has its own specific bonus effect if you choose to go that route. So we can level that all the way up. That goes up to plus 45, and if we go just down the, uh, just down the uh, standard bulky, we get 65%. So you have to you have to make a choice there. I would much rather unlock the special abilities on these than uh, probably go with the bulky. I don't know. The special ability seems a little bit more uh, useful. All right, the next tip I have for you is a banger for a early game weapon here. You're going to want to find yourself over at the milk carton, which if you don't know, uh, we've got Big Bird Bath right here, right? Frankenstein Castle up here. Tower to Nat, say intentions. Your flight path is not cleared. Okay, Pete, there you go. All right, and the milk carton is right here in this corner. So you're going to want to find the milk carton, and you can already see the hole that we need to get to right up there. Let's see, we're going to go ahead, and I am in creative, so just for, you know, the purpose of making this a quick video, we're going to craft up some... Uh, some ramps real quick. This is typically how I get in here. Um, all right, so up we go. Just like so, just enough to get you in the hole. And then you're gonna want to grab some brop, brop bursts. Okay. Oh, I have to craft them, hold on. All right, here we go. Had to set me up a little crafting table there. All right, so we're going to equip him. Let there be light. Jump in here. And drop this guy right here. <laughs> or you could throw it like that. <laughs> All right, that's going to open this up. You're going to be able to find two things in here. <clears throat> One of which will be the pinch whacker right here. It's a very good early game weapon. Just be careful because it does take super glue uh, to level it up, you also get a chest with uh, quite a bit of upgrade material in it. And as well, if you come back here, you get your, where's it at? Rotten Berry Charm right there, which it, which is a trinket that increases the damage of rotten weapons. I've used it a couple times, really don't know if it's all that great. 
but still a cool item to have. All right, another thing you're gonna wanna get really good at is perfect blocking. If you can learn to perfect block, you're gonna be practically invincible. As long as you learn the attacks of all the animals and the spiders and everything. Perfect blocking is huge. There you go, there's, a, there's the effect of the pinch whacker going crazy. All right, the next tip you're gonna need is the resource surveyor. It is a huge, huge, huge item in the game. Um, obviously, in this run through, I don't really have very many items or I don't have very many uh, things discovered. So pretty much you have to discover, once you discover these, uh, what are we calling these, field stations. Um, you know, it'll send out a survey signal in every direction from that field station to more or less scan for each individual item you need in the game. All right, the first thing you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna do is uh, find the paper clip in the hedge, start making your way up, gonna run around, run past the red cord here. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Pretend like we're heading to the hedge lab. Some of you might have walked past this or something. I know, I know I've had a couple people in my community that have been like, where the heck is this resource scanner thing at? So you're gonna take this zip line right down to here. You don't have to jump off, but you can release early there. We're gonna backpedal a little bit and go into this room. Once we go in here, you're gonna encounter a couple uh, robots. Just take them out. Okay. We're gonna have some stuff on the tables here. We got a card there. I don't want to listen to him talk. We got some uh, more resources there. And if you go all the way back to the back, this is where you will unlock the scanner right here. And now you can scan for pretty much uh, any item that you have came across in the game and look for more of it, like crow feathers, or if you're looking for a certain bug spawn, like ladybug parts, all that good stuff. Yes. All right, the next tip I have for you is these web sacks. If you're like me and you're playing well mode, ladybugs are kind of a pain in the butt early game, but you really need that ladybug head to get this ladybug armor. Well, if you break some web sacks, yes, you have to fight spiderlings, but they drop some, uh, they drop a lot, a lot of uh, random items that are typically a lot easier to get from these web sacks than uh, they are from than they are from the actual, you know, bugs themselves. Okay, so like here, for instance, we got gnat fuzz and we got a stink bug sack, and they drop uh, like ladybug parts, stink bug parts, bombardier beetle parts. All right, and the last tip I have for you is make sure you Take peep everything. You're gonna want to peep as much stuff as you possibly can because. Um, the more you peep, you can learn how to kill them easier, faster, better, stronger, find their resistances and their weaknesses, all that good stuff. Once you once you zoom in on something and peep it, uh, then you can then you can open up your data tab, go to that specific thing, and it will tell you its weaknesses, its resistances, and its weak points, which is really, really good. Usually they take double if not more damage if you're using their weaknesses. And if they're, if they're using anything that they're resistant to, obviously you're going to do about half the damage that you normally would. But that's it for the tips today, guys. These are 10 tips that I thought might help you out a little bit. Um, these are 10 things I wish I knew. I, I played Grounded last about a year ago, and I recently came back and learned all these things and thought I would share them with you guys. If this helped you out at all, please make sure to like this video. Comment down below what favorite bug you have that is not in this game that you would like to see in this game hit that subscribe button for me and here's another video check this one out let me know if you like that one as well see you guys later thanks for watching peace